shit. Shit, shit. Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! <laughs> Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. 
she was looking for escape. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. Not after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not, if that's what Rachel wants? Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. 
Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel even knows how to make a Dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. We were so close to making our break last night. Now, I don't know. May you always be safe. <laughs> sure. But from who? I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Rachel's always made being an A student seem so easy. Almost sad to see all this effort.
<laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Ready for Rachel's light show. Wish there was some way to make this brighter. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? The yin and Hadass Yang of Rachel Amber. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. there was some way to make this brighter. Check it out. It's... beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? You remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't. 
can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. That she's here right now. That she came here for me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. <laughs> You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. It's just like I told that biker dude at the mill, who was a lot scarier than this mom of yours could ever be. There could be flamethrowers, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. And I would still find a way to get you there. <laughs> Chloe fucking Price. My magical Shakespeare fairy. Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her... Uh, how do I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died. I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. 
Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us. Right? Right. <laughs>